Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an updated blank journal collection. I like to do these videos every once in a while just so you guys can kind of see what I've used up and what I've bought since I did the last video. So if you're interested, all of my older blank journal collections are available on my channel under a playlist, so go check it out. But let's just get right into it, starting with this journal right here. It is a spiral notebook from Dollarama. I did use a coupon to get this for about $6 Canadian. I think it's really cute. I hate bugs, but this design is just really adorable, really colorful, and it really gives me like spring and summer vibes. It does have some like gold foiling on it, which I think is very nice. Um, and it also says, be the windshield, not the bug, which I think is funny, ironically. So let's make that very clear. I ironically think it's funny. But yeah, super cute. Um, it has a cute little design on the inside as well. And some um, lined pages, which you guys probably know are my favorite. There are a lot of pages in this journal. 240 to be exact. So I know it might take me a while to get through, but I'm super excited. I probably won't use this until next spring or summer, but again, excited nonetheless to have this in my collection. Moving on, this is the last, whoops, of three Pantone journals that came in a set from Costco. Um, I've already used the green one and the orange one, and I just have the black one left. My plan is to use this next year in January. The only thing that I don't like about it, as you can probably see, is that it takes fingerprints. Um, but you know what? That's okay. I'll probably cover the front with stickers. And yeah, excited to use this one as well. However, to be honest, this line spacing for me is not my favorite. It's a little bit too thin the lines um so i probably wouldn't repurchase these journals but something about just like a sleek black journal like this where i can cover the cover <laughs> cover the cover with as many stickers as i want it's just always really fun i love decorating the covers of journals okay next let's move on to this journal right here or oh, wait hold on there is a second one that matches this here it is okay so these journals originally came in a pack of three from Indigo, which is a Canadian bookstore. I have already used one of these journals. I used it in March of 2023, um, but I still have the other two left. These are from the Noda brand. They have deckled edges and Coptic binding, which means they lay nice and flat. Um, and of course, these are lined. And I just love these journals. They are super quick to get through and just such great quality and really pretty so again love these two this is probably my favorite of the three designs um but yeah excited to use these i always love a thin journal because i can get through it super quick okay let's move on to this set of journals right here these i bought really recently from a canadian dollar store called dollarama i couldn't believe that i found these there they are so stunning um, you probably saw them in my recent haul, but I absolutely love the covers of these. These are like a Claude Monet collection and just so stunning. They were $4 each, um, so I would definitely check out your local Dollarama if you have one near you to see if you can buy these because they are just gorgeous. Anyway, it has 236 pages and it literally looks like a whole book. Like this looks like a chapter book, um, but I love it nonetheless. The lines are super nice and wide, which I love. Um, and I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun using this. I think I'm going to use one in September when I'm starting off the school year. So I'm super excited. Here is one of the designs. This is number three in this series. This is number four. Super pretty. I love this green. And it, the cover kind of feels like, um, like a canvas, like an easel, not easel. Yeah, a canvas. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, obviously it's not, but it just kind of has that like, canvasy texture which I just think is very cool so here is number four in the collection oops you can definitely see my fingerprints there oh my god um then we have number two in the collection this purple one is absolutely stunning and again just the pages also feel really good they feel like book pages they're like really thick as well which I like so that's that one then we have this one right here which is number one in the collection and I think this is the next journal or the first of these journals that I'm gonna use in September. And hopefully I'll still be able to bulk it up but not have it completely fall apart on me. I'm not sure how the spine will hold, but again, I'm so excited to use these. I think they're absolutely stunning. Like seriously, with a gold foil, perfect. It's gorgeous, I'm obsessed. Anyway, super excited to get to use these. Like I just, I couldn't believe I found these at the dollar store. I mean, obviously they weren't a dollar, but still. Okay, moving on, we have some of these bullet journals right here. This first one is from Paper Shire. And if it looks familiar, that is probably because I used this exact journal as my reading journal last year. 
but I wanted to use one as one of my regular daily journals as well, so I purchased another. I will leave my paper shower link down below if you're interested in getting one. They are seriously so affordable. I think this one is seven pounds, which I don't know how much Canadian that converts to. Maybe like $10. I just think it's such an amazing deal. Obviously, the shipping is a little bit more pricey because it comes from the UK, but I just like, I just love it. Like, it's just, it's just so worth it. So worth it. And you can always get 10% off with my referral link um, and you get lots of freebies. So anyway, definitely recommend. Um, so yeah, this is a teal bow bullet journal from Paper Shower. This bow on the front is super cute. I love this packaging. It is just a regular 160 GSM dark grid journal. I love the quality of the paper. It's so smooth and so thick. You never have to glue any pages together. And I love that the pages are super white as well. And obviously it comes with a ribbon, an elastic, a little pen loop, which I never use, but it's great. Um, and also <clears throat> a pocket in the back, excuse me. Super cute, can't wait to use this one. Probably won't use it until next year, but excited to have it in my collection nonetheless. Something about just having lots of options for whenever I work on my next journal is always super satisfying for me. Okay, I'm realizing I actually have two more blank journals right here that I'm planning on working on soon, but I haven't started it yet, so I'm gonna bring it into this video. Okay, clearly I have too many journals, but next um, little 160 GSM bullet journal here is from Yop and Tom. I got this off of Amazon, or actually my grandparents bought it for me off of Amazon, um, but this is their hummingbird design, which I think is super pretty. I love this gold foil, of course, and the cover is super soft and like matte. Very fun. This ribbon, or there's an elastic, a little ribbon bookmark, um, and then a pocket in the back, of course. This paper is even wider than the Paper Shire one. Although one thing I'm not a huge, huge fan of and I wish I knew about before I bought it is that it has like these little um, marks on the like dot to show the middle and like the middle of all the edges, which I don't love. I'm sure when I write in it, you won't be able to really see it anyway, but it does kind of like throw me off a little bit. So I'm not a huge fan of that. But again, I'm sure it'll get covered up when I use it so it doesn't really matter too much. I think it's really fun that the pages are numbered so then I can fill in the, not the key, but the index. I don't know if I'm gonna do that because maybe I'll just do it for big events. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this first page here where I can write who this journal belongs to is so thick. Um, but yeah, I can also write when I started and ended the journal, so that's super fun. And I'm really excited to use this. I've never used any of their bullet journals before. Um, so yeah, again, I use these as my daily journals, but they are meant to be bullet journals. Okay, moving on, before we get into these, let's do this mini stack right here. So first I have this little bullet journal from Dollarama. It was $3.50 and comes with 160 pages of dot grid paper. It is Coptic binding and has this really pretty linen-y type of cover. Um, that's a project that I'm planning on working on. But yes, it lays really flat, which I love, and has a very nice light dark red. And my plan for this journal is to use it as a Taylor Swift journal. I have become the biggest fan of Taylor Swift this year, and I just want to make a journal where I can do spreads about her songs and kind of work wow, wow, work my way through studying her discography. I think that would be so fun for me. And it's a big project, so I'm kind of like trying to figure out if I really, really want to do it before I get into it because... You know, like, it's a big thing to fill up this whole journal full of Taylor Swift. And I seriously love Taylor Swift, so I think it would be really fun. Again, I'm still thinking about it, kind of like working out how I want to structure this journal. Um, but I think I'm going to do it. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see, like, a setup video of how I'm setting up this journal. I don't know. The idea is still just kind of loosely there, so we'll see. But I have some stickers here that I would be planning. Oops. Oh, my gosh. The sticker just flew off. Um... But yes, these are the stickers that I'm planning on using for the cover, um, like one sticker per album. So we'll see if this works out. Um, I honestly don't know what I would use this journal for otherwise because I'm not sure if it would fully work out as a daily journal. So we'll have to see. But that's the plan for this journal. I've had it in my collection for a while and I felt like this was a really good use for it. So hopefully everything works out. Okay, next I have the journal that I'm going to use next um which is why there's some stuff stuffed inside this was a journal that i got from umomo which is like a japanese kind of dollar store um this was like four dollars though so you know not super cheap but it was very pretty so i picked it up i love this watercolor sky background with that outline um and i think it's really fun especially with this little silver paper airplane in the corner 
Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to use this journal. What's kind of fun about it is that it has pink dot grid, which I've never used before. Um, so I feel like that would be interesting for me. I don't know if I'll love it, especially for like bookish spreads and stuff, but I guess we'll see. You know, like I feel like I could work with it. It's also pretty faint, so I feel like it's neutral enough. Um, these are some of the items that I'm planning on using to decorate the cover. This card is from Papershire. These stickers are from Pals Art Nook. So keep an eye out for this journal setup coming soon. Yeah, so excited to use that one. And I always love a thin journal, like I said. This next journal here is what I'm planning on using as my December daily this year. I actually got it from my dad's workplace. Um, he had a bunch of these, so I got one. And it's just like white and it has a textured cover, but I don't know how to describe this cover. It kind of reminds me of like a couch. Um, I don't know why, but yes, I'm planning on using this as my December daily. You know, it's white, so like reminds me of snow and Christmas. So I feel like that could work out. Um, inside, there were some like promotional type pages here for his company. So I just ripped it out um, because obviously I didn't want to keep that in. I will probably just tape these two pages together or glue them together so that you can't see that little like whatever this is um, in the middle. It does have very nice thick or wide, I guess, lines. So I'm happy about that. I'm also pretty happy about just like how neutral the pages are. There's no like writing or like date spaces anywhere. So I think that's really good. Now what's interesting about this journal is that it is mostly lined pages. However, there are two smaller sections where there's dot grid and then blank pages, which I think is pretty cool. Um, obviously I'm glad there's like the least blank pages, just a few more dot grid pages and then mostly lined pages because that's kind of exactly how I like to use my daily journals. Like my favorite is lined and then probably dot grid and then blank at the end. So I feel like I will have some fun using this, especially in December. Um, I'm excited. Maybe in the back, I'll just stick in all my Christmas cards. I don't know, maybe that would bulk up too much the second half of it. Oh, there's even a ribbon. I didn't even notice that. Okay, and then of course there is a pocket at the end for me to stick in whatever I need to. And I'm pretty excited about this journal. It's not like any of the other journals I've used before. And I don't even think I've ever used a white journal. So really excited about this. It's super neutral. I can decorate the cover and make it all Christmassy. So I am super excited about that. Okay, so that was all of my like regular journals. Um, there's one more thing that I wanted to mention. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you're probably thinking, Valerie, how come you don't have any blank faux wood grain journals? And you know what? I actually do. Um, so the thing is, I left all three of them at my schoolhouse. So throughout the year, I'm a student. So I live in like a house in my school town. Um, and I had one of each of these journals there and I felt like I didn't really need to bring it home. I had plenty of journals to choose from at home and I figured I could keep some at school so I don't have to keep transporting blank journals back and forth. And I figured at some point I'll use them. If not, next summer, I'll just bring them home again. And if I really wanted to use one of them, I could just go out and buy one here at home. So anyway, um, I do have one of each of these journals. These are already like, used but obviously i don't have the blank version to show you so i'm just going to show you the used version um these are my favorite journals ever probably you can get them at dollarama for three dollars and fifty sorry three dollars and seventy five cents this is one of the colors they have it's kind of like a more warm tone wood grain um super pretty again this is already filled but you can imagine it blank that's one of the ones i have i also have one of the dark wood ones super pretty this was actually my most recent filled journal and then this was my December daily from last year, but I also have, of course, another one of these waiting for me at my schoolhouse. So yeah, I'm planning on using one of these in November, um, but we'll see. You know, plans always change when it comes to journals. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about my travel journals. Um, I just have four of them here that are like specifically in my head going to be used as travel journals. The first two, oh, Never mind, I'm a liar. This is actually the journal that I want to use as my reading journal for 2024. So if you watched my like mid-year kind of recap flip through video, I talked about my plans for this journal. Um, so definitely go check that out if you're interested. But this is a journal from Noda, that brand that I showed you guys earlier. But instead of line pages, it has dot grid. So I'm planning on using this as my 2024 reading journal. It actually came in a set with this one and another journal, so another set of three. But I've already used one of those journals. Okay, so these three journals here are meant to be travel journals. 
The first one is this Nota journal, of course, super pretty. I love this little drawing on the front. I actually did buy two sets of these three packs, so I've used this journal before, um, but it's really fun. It does have blank pages. Again, not my favorite, but I can make do, especially for a travel journal, and it has the deckled edges and the Coptic binding, so it's just super cute and super quick and easy to fill for a short trip. And then the next travel journal I have, I've had this journal for a long, long time, but I just still haven't gone on the trip that I want um, to use this for. So this has 100 lined pages of acid-free paper. It is a handmade journal, and I love this little London cover, like, you know, gorgeous. It's like watercolor-y, and I just love it. I'm obsessed. Love the Big Ben here and the little bus. I just think it's really pretty. Um, of course, it has the lined pages. It has a very thick, um, like... I don't even know what you call this margin here um but that's okay especially again it's a travel journal so i'm not super picky about it the inside is bright red which i think is super pretty but yeah i'm excited to use this one day hopefully for a europe trip maybe next year we'll have to see but i think it's super pretty and again can't wait to use it someday i actually got this off of book outlet um so i don't usually buy journals from there but every once in a while i'll check to see if there's anything good okay and then last but not least, I have this little travel journal that I got from a D-Stash. Um, it just has travels on the front and has a kind of vintage -y looking map. The pages in this though are very yellow, which again, when it comes to a travel, travel journey, wow, travel journal, I'm definitely not as picky. Um, so, you know, if it's yellow, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm doing any spreads that I need to post on my Instagram or anything like that. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. It does have a lot of pages, so this will have to be for a very long trip. It also has a very interesting like mini pocket in the back, like it's not a full pocket, um, but I can use that to stick in ephemera throughout the day and then journal it in at the end. And the brand is Cavallini & Co. from San Francisco. Love this little fleur de lis at the front. And yeah, so that is the last journal in my blank journal collection. I've told myself I'm on a journal buying ban for the rest of this year. You know, we'll see if that actually pans out. I do want to see if they have the lover journals when I visit the States this summer. So we'll see. But that is everything for this video. Let me know in the comments how many blank journals you guys have. Actually, maybe I should do a count. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I do have 20 blank journals. Hopefully we will get through them or at least a bunch of them this year. Again, that is everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.